Tonight, the Channel 7 family and the Buffalo community remembering a longtime member of the 7 Eyewitness News team, our former anchor, Gene Hill. Gene died this week of cancer. As senior reporter Eileen Buckley shows us tonight, Gene was a beloved leader here and also an inspiration to so many people. Erie County Sheriff's deputies say 45-year-old Thomas she, she had a powerful presence, a powerful voice. Former 7 Eyewitness News anchor Gene Hill is being remembered as smart and a unique person. Hill joined Channel 7 in 1990 and spent 12 years at WKBW as weekend anchor, morning anchor, and reporter. Steve Boyd shared the weekend anchor desk with her. And so Gene was kind of breaking barriers. Boyd, now an attorney, says he was shocked to learn Hill died. He reflected Wednesday on her journalism career and the path she blazed in Buffalo in the early 1990s. She was significant in that she comes in as a black female anchor in a time when there weren't that many black female anchors, even any around the country. We'll bring you the latest as soon as it happens. Boyd described Hill as super smart and a very private person. There's like this richness of, of humanity that, that she carried with her. But he says they formed a great relationship. There was a unity between Gene and I. Something would happen in the newsroom and we could kind of look across the room and just give each other a look like, did you see that? Like, yeah, I, I got it. Still to come on Eyewitness News. Snow, snow, and more snow. They even shared funny moments, Boyd recalling how they both yeah, felt full after eating a meal before a weekend newscast and complaining to one another about feeling fat as they sat down at the anchor desk. And just as we're doing this and the music's starting and the newscast about to start, the cameraman peeks his head around and he says, well, I'll tell you what works for me, water aerobics. Well, just the way he delivered that, we started laughing and could not speak at the beginning of the newscast. And the more I couldn't speak, the more she laughed, and then the more she couldn't speak, the more I laughed. Boyd says he was just thinking of Hill on his recent birthday because he has a new sign for his home workout space that he wanted to show her. Yeah, literally, I, I've been thinking, I cannot wait till this pendant arrives so that I can show it to Jean. Hill left broadcasting, but never left Buffalo. She joined MNT Bank in 2001 as vice president for corporate communications and went on to earn her executive MBA. But to me, she was just Jean or mini Jean. She was a pal. Um, we were teammates and it was good to be on her team. Jean Hill, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Mm, she seems like such a wonderful woman. And Keith, I know you had an opportunity to work with her over the years and, and develop quite a friendship. I wish that I had the privilege of getting to know her. She was a great girl. Great girl. And uh, sorry, she was a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> she, made, she made us laugh all the time. She was just, we're going to miss her. We'll be right back.